actually happen? Will the Chicago Bulls actually fire head coach Jim Boylan? What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NBA here to talk about the Chicago Bulls. So if you're a Bulls fan, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel because it does help me out when you guys support the channel. Follow me, guys, on my social media. Links down below on the screen for that. So I have a question. Will the Chicago Bulls fire Jim Boylan? Will it happen? Okay. And there's a new report out there about this very topic. And oh, oh boy, do I have a lot to say about this. Okay. So you know what? We're just going to get right into it. Let's so it. as we all know, the, the Bulls are under new management. Okay. There is a new front office with Arturos Karnasovas as uh, VP uh, and of basketball operations and the, and the top executive. And we've got Mark Eversley as the new general manager. Okay, so Gar and Pats are out. No more out of the front office roles. And the only thing left now from the old regime is Jim Boylan. Okay, and to me and to a lot of Bulls fans, I'm sure this was more of a formality than anything which is, oh, once the new front office comes in here, they're going to fire Jim Boylan. Well, guess what? There's a new report out there now. Um, I believe it's by the Chicago Sun-Times, which says that John Paxson, who is still, again, by the way, with the Chicago Bulls in an adversary role, okay? Which I told you guys, the Bulls were never going to fire him. They were just going to move him to a different position. Gar actually did get canned. He got fired. I was surprised by that. I thought they were just going to move both of them to like scouting roles or whatever, but Point being is, John Paxson, according to this report, and the ownership, Jerry Reinsdorf and Michael Reinsdorf, would prefer or like Jim Boylan to stay as the head coach of the Chicago Bulls. But Arturos Karnasovas and Mark Eversley are leaning towards starting fresh with the new head coach. Folks, I am telling you right now, if... Arturos and Mark Eversley are forced to keep Jim Boylan because of what the front office just is saying and, and John Paxson. Um, I think we should write and, and, and protest. Okay, after obviously this whole pandemic's over. But point being is I would literally flip you know what, okay? Because if you make all these moves <laughs> to bring in a new VP, a new GM, and you end up keeping Jim Boylan, it undermines everything you've done, okay? Because to me, my first question really is, what is the ownership doing right now, and and especially John Paxson as well, giving and telling Arturos and Mark Eversley what to do, telling them recommendations? Like, what are they doing? You You have given these guys full autonomy full power they are the top executives okay and they have full control or should over basketball operations why are you recommending anything now i'm hoping this story came out because maybe arturos carnesovas and mark eversley just out of the kindness of their heart maybe asked ownership Hey, what do you guys think about Jim Boylan? Because we have to make a decision on him. And maybe that's when the front office, excuse me, when the ownership and John Paxson said, oh, we like him, we, we'd like to keep him. And maybe that's what happened, okay? That might be the only acceptable thing because if it's something else, oh, we've got a problem. We have got a problem because, folks, this is a rhetorical question. I mean, my God, like, there is no reason to keep Jim Boylan. I shouldn't have to explain myself. I don't care that, you know, he's a hard worker and he, you know, goes all in for his guys. I have one stat for you, which is all that matters. 39 and 84. 39 and 84 is Jim Boylan's record with the Bulls since he took over. That is a 31.7 winning percentage. Okay, that's it. I mean, I, like I said, I don't care. And so to me, uh, Jim Boylan needs to go. Um, I shouldn't, again, have to explain myself. This should be pretty straightforward. And I still expect it to happen. I do. I just, I'm so angry that this story came out that ownership and John Paxson are still giving input. They're still giving input. Like, I thought we were past this. Like, we progressed and and we can get a fresh re regime in here with a fresh new head coach. But again, 
any chance, even if it's a 1% chance that Jim Boylan has a chance to stay with the Bulls, it's too much. It's too much. I'm sorry. Get this man out of here. I want him on the first bus train plane out of Chicago. Okay? Um, and here's the thing. Uh, a lot of the Bulls players apparently um, ratted out Jim Boylan. I shouldn't say ratted out. They were just honest, okay? Because Arturos, Karnasovas, and Mark Eversley went and asked the players what they thought of Jim Boylan, and they ripped Jim Boylan a new one. A lot of the players did. If I had to guess, I'm pretty sure Zach Levine doesn't like Jim Boylan. Uh, Lori definitely doesn't like Jim Boylan. Uh, Wendell, I think he's kind of, you know, mixed. Probably doesn't care as much. Uh, Kobe White was getting playing time, so maybe he didn't say anything, and he's a rookie, so, you know, probably kept his mouth shut, but we definitely know the two star players, Zach Levine and Laurie Markin, and don't like him, um, and yeah, that should be enough, but I'm pretty sure a lot of the team, uh, they all probably had negative things to say about Jim Bullock, and so to me, again, at this point, look, look, here's where I'm at, it's going to happen, folks, the Bulls are going to fire him, and there will be a new head coach, Basically, the decision won't be made until we figure out what's happening with the NBA season, if it's going to resume. And keep this in mind. I am okay with this possibility of the season resuming and Jim Boylan staying till this season is over. Only because it's a lost season. That's the only reason I'm okay with it. That's fine. Maybe, you know, um, they aren't able to interview the other head coaches or they're not available at this time and they want to start fresh with the new season. That's fine. Okay, if you want to do that, can him after this year, cool, got it, okay with me. But that's the only, only explanation or only reasoning, uh, you know, that's acceptable. Because anything other than that, no. Uh, so if they, and I prefer Jim Boylan to be out as soon as we find out that there's their season happening. Like I, I want a new head coach. But again, if they want to keep him just to finish out the year, so be it. The Bulls aren't going anywhere this year. It's fine. The se season was already done. But he should be out of here. And so to me, like, like I said, at this point, I don't want to, you know, freak you guys out here. I still fully expect it to happen. Jim Boylan's going to get fired. We will have a new head coach in here. I'm just so irritated that we are still getting uh, feedback from ownership in John Paxson. I just wish they would disappear. And you know what? I really thought Michael Reinsdorf had really, you know, turned a corner here. And he was, you know, the man that's leading the charge for the new regime and he doesn't want to you know live in his dad's footsteps because you know the Bulls have had all their success with Jerry Reinsdorf when when they won you know obviously the six championships during the MJ era haven't done squats since you know Derrick Rose got hurt but um, again another tangent for another day point being is folks I still fully expect it to happen but I'm just so irritated that this is happening with management and the um, uh, ownership so crossing my fingers here that Jim Boylan gets fired sooner than later, to me, it is still a matter of when and not if. So again, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you guys really think ownership, uh, excuse me, do you guys really think that yeah, ownership and John Paxson are giving a say into this? Do you think they will actually play a part in this? Or do you think that Arturos and Mark are, were just asking to be, to be nice? Let me know down below because again, uh, it's crazy. Uh, as always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.